This checkpoint, because it is state of the art and has a lot of upgraded equipment in it, you move through it a little bit differently. Our standard passengers, so not pre-check, now get to leave their electronics and their tablets in their bag. They also get to leave their liquids, aerosols, and gels in their bag. Here at Denver, the first time that we have uh, been able to design a checkpoint with the technologies that are available. So TSA worked very closely with the airport design team to make sure that this environment could, could result in the most efficient screening experience for travelers. This is a 17-lane checkpoint we're going to be offering TSA PreCheck. For travelers have TSA PreCheck with Clear, you'll also come here, and we'll also have some standard screening lanes. We also have what we call our functional lean lanes, those who need to have access, quick access to the checkpoint, maybe for a disability or some other matter. All of those passengers are going to be able to screen through this checkpoint. Because it's a larger checkpoint, it's equipped with state-of-the-art technology, we think it's going to help move passengers through the screening experience quicker and more efficiently. Also, we'll have all of our staff in a single space, and that helps make our operation more efficient as well. I can tell you that large checkpoints like this automatically result in a more efficient screening process. This is West Security 2. Again, everything labeled all gates because all of DEN's checkpoints can access all airlines, all gates. This sign will also act in a wayfinding component. Now this sign will have both the right and the left side available to do wayfinding to help again people find if this is not their entry point. So standard screening customers, pointing them to the right, letting them know they need to find West Security One. And our pre-check customers and pre-check with clear customers on the left edge of this sign, telling you to actually move around the corner with a dynamic arrow to get you to West Security Three. So when you come into the checkpoint and you're greeted by the credential authentication technology, you know that just handing over your driver's license is a very simple process. You're also going to have your photo taken. I want to stress though, if you do not want to have your photo taken, you can opt out. The TSA officer will do an alternate method to uh, verify your identity. It's the one that we've been seeing for the last 20 years, which is a, a visual check of you, your driver's license, and your boarding pass will be scanned as well. Our next feature that we have in the checkpoint is our automated screening lane. So automated screening lanes automate functions that TSA officers used to do manually. The, the biggest one that you're used to seeing is these bins are automatically returned to the front of the checkpoint after they've completed the screening process. You're no longer gonna see officers pushing carts of bins out to the front for travelers to use. Now, if you're a pre-check passenger used to being told, don't put anything in a bin, we're gonna change that paradigm. Now, everything goes in a bin. In an automated screening lane environment, everything goes into a bin because the bins are equipped with an RFID sticker. That sticker keeps the accountability of the property in this bin and it corresponds to a specific x-ray image. If once again using technology to help our officers do their job better. Here's the reason that they're able to do that even if you're a standard passenger. It is because we're using the latest technology, computed tomography. Now that unit there generates a 3D image of the contents of the traveler's bags and the contents of all their personal property. That 3D image gives our officer a better view of what's inside the bag and they can resolve uh, potential security threats on screen instead of having a bag check. For those people who like to get going, who don't like to wait for the person in front of them, this is for you. You can have three people side by side putting items in a bin, getting ready to push them forward to go into the x-ray scanner. Don't wait if there are empty stations. Just move right up there. You're not cutting in front of anyone. This is how they're designed. This entire checkpoint is outfitted with automated screening lanes. You're gonna find that that process is very efficient for travelers because you are able to have three passengers at the same time getting ready to push their items forward to go through the x-ray. For travelers who come through here regularly, no matter what lane they go through, they're gonna get used to this process. And all of that helps make the entire operation more efficient. And so it's a big win for us. You're used to seeing the body scanners that have the round plexiglass uh, middle portion. We walk in there, we put our hands over our head. This is another type of body scanner. We call it the E-A-I-T. First of all, it's a much more open design. It is not enclosed in any way. The second thing that's really helpful about it is when you go in, you're gonna keep your hands to your side. You're gonna remove them from the side of your body. 
so that you they can get a good scan of your body. This last part that's a real benefit is before the scan occurs, the unit gives the TSA officer corrective feedback so we're not having to rescan people. Right now, our normal checkpoints do a standard screening passenger, so not pre-check, at about 130 to 150 people per lane per hour. We anticipate seeing numbers closer to 180 on day one with this equipment um, and with the opportunity as efficiencies are built for that to grow up over 200 people per lane per hour. During those peak times, this checkpoint will be operating at maximum efficiency and people will really feel the difference. Stay elevated by subscribing to the city's YouTube page for these stories and more. And stay tuned to our social media channels for more content. Don't miss our new episodes of Elevating Denver, premiering each month. Thanks for watching, Denver.